Ever wondered how to build your credit score with no credit history? Let's set the stage for this financial journey that's as thrilling as any roller coaster ride. When it comes to navigating the world of finance, your credit score is your passport. It's a three digit number that tells lenders, landlords, and sometimes even potential employers just how reliable you are when it comes to handling money. Picture this you're at a bank applying for a loan. The bank needs to know if you're the kind of person who pays back on time. In other words, they need to trust you. But how can they trust someone they've just met? Enter the credit score. It's like a financial report card, giving an instant snapshot of your money habits. A high score? That's a gold star. It means you've been responsible, paying your bills on time, and keeping your debt levels low. It's a sign that you're a safe bet, and lenders are more likely to give you that loan, landlords are more likely to rent you that apartment, and employers are more likely to offer you that job. But what about a low score or no score at all? That's where things get a little tricky. It's like being the new kid in school. No one knows you, so they're cautious. But don't worry, it's not a life sentence. It just means that you need to put in some work to build up your credit score. The benefits of a good credit score are vast. It can make the difference between getting approved or declined for that loan or credit card. It can even impact the interest rates you're offered. A good credit score can help you save money over time, and who doesn't like the sound of that? But here's the million dollar question. So how can one build a credit score from scratch? Let's dig deeper. It's not an overnight process, but with patience, discipline, and a little know-how, you'll be on your way to building a solid credit score. Buckle up because we're about to dive into the ins and outs of credit building. Building your credit score is not an overnight process, but a journey. Let's begin. Just like a high school report card, your credit score is a measure of your financial responsibility. It's based on your credit reports which are like your financial report cards that track your history of borrowing and repaying debts. Lenders, landlords, and even potential employers might look at your credit score to decide whether you're a risk worth taking. Now you might be wondering, what goes into this magical number? Well, there are five main factors that influence your credit score. Payment history, credit utilization, length of credit history, types of credit, and new credit. Let's break it down. First up, payment history. This is the big one, making up about 35% of your score. It's pretty simple. Pay your bills on time, and your score goes up. Miss a payment, and it goes down. Next, we have credit utilization. This represents about 30% of your score. It's a ratio that compares how much credit you're using to how much you have available. The lower this ratio, the better. So, if your credit card has a limit of $1,000, and you're regularly spending $900 a month on it, that's a high utilization rate. Try to keep it below 30%. The length of your credit history accounts for about 15% of your score. The longer you've been borrowing and repaying without any hiccups, the better your score. The mix of credit types you have makes up about 10% of your score. Having a variety of credit, like credit cards, a car loan, and a mortgage, can actually help your score. Finally, new credit. This is about 10% of your score. Each time you apply for new credit, it can cause a small temporary drop in your score. So, avoid applying for new credit cards or loans, unless you really need them. Now that we know the basics, let's move on to the practical steps. Starting from zero might sound daunting, but with the right steps, you can build a good credit score. First things first, you'll want to open a bank account if you haven't already. This is your financial foundation. It's not directly linked to your credit score, but it's a crucial part of your financial health. Having a checking and savings account can show lenders that you can responsibly handle money. The next step is applying for a secured credit card. A secured credit card is backed by a cash deposit you make up front. The deposit amount is usually the same as your credit limit. It's a fantastic tool for credit newbies because it allows you to build credit while minimizing the risk for the card issuer. Now you might be thinking, what if I could piggyback off someone else's good credit? Well you can. Becoming an authorized user on someone else's credit card can help you build credit. You'll benefit from their good credit habits, but remember their mistakes, like late payments, could also negatively affect your credit score. Another approach is taking out a credit builder loan. This loan is uniquely designed to help people with no or low credit scores. The money you borrow is held by the lender in an account and not released to you until the loan is paid off. It's a forced savings program of sorts, and your regular payments are reported to credit bureaus, helping you build credit. Paying your bills on time, every time, is a fundamental step in building and maintaining your credit score. This includes not just your credit card bills, but also your rent, utilities, phone bill, and even your streaming subscriptions. 
Late or missed payments can have a significant negative impact on your credit score. Lastly, aim to keep your credit utilization low. Credit utilization is the amount of your total credit that you use. For example, if you have a credit card with a $1,000 limit and you've used $300, your credit utilization is 30%. A good rule of thumb is to keep your credit utilization under 30%. This shows lenders that you're not reliant on credit and can manage it wisely. Building a credit score from scratch isn't an overnight process, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It requires persistence, consistency, and good financial habits. It might seem like a lot of work, but the benefits are worth it. A good credit score can open doors to better interest rates on loans, more favorable terms with lenders, and even more opportunities for things like renting an apartment or landing a job. Remember, consistency is key when building your credit score. You've got this. Let's quickly recap the key points we've covered in building a credit score from scratch. We kicked things off by discussing the importance of a credit score. It's not just a number. It's a financial passport that can open doors to opportunities like getting approved for a loan, securing lower interest rates and even influencing job offers. It's like your financial reputation, speaking volumes about your financial trustworthiness before you utter a single word. Next, we delved into the nuts and bolts of credit building. We learned that it's not an overnight process, but a journey that requires understanding and application of certain principles. We explored the importance of making payments on time, maintaining a low credit utilization ratio, and the value of diversifying credit types. We also touched on the importance of keeping old accounts open and active, and avoiding opening too many new accounts in a short span of time. Then, we walked through a step-by-step -step guide to building credit from scratch. We started with securing a secured credit card or becoming an authorized user on someone else's card. We emphasized the importance of paying off balances in full each month and keeping credit card utilization low. We also discussed other ways to build credit like taking out a credit builder loan, paying rent on time, or even getting credit for paying your phone or utility bills. As you embark on this journey to build your credit score from scratch, remember that it's not a race. It's more of a marathon, requiring patience, discipline, and consistent good habits. Your efforts will pay off over time in the form of financial opportunities and the freedom that comes with being able to leverage your good credit. Remember, building a good credit score takes time and consistency. So, take the first step today and start your journey towards financial freedom. That wraps up our guide on how to build your credit score from scratch. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share this with others on the same journey. Thanks for watching, and remember, your journey to a great credit score starts now. See you in our next video.